Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Traders Academy Club and welcome to the weekly Forex forecast. Today we are preparing for the trading week starting of 30 of October, actually the first trading week of November. So I would like to take the opportunity and to wish you a very happy trading week and a very successful trading month ahead. Uh, in today's video, I would like to share with you two great opportunities I have on my watch list. The first one would be a gold. The other one would be New Zealand dollar. Two very interesting, technically speaking, opportunities, uh, which I believe are building up for us. But before uh, we go to the charts and uh, talk about all the technical things, if you are new to this channel, welcome to our amazing community. Please subscribe with a subscribe button below this video. And also I would like to um, remind you that you can get all these indicators and more that you see here on this very chart, uh, right below this video in the description, you would find the direct links to go and download them. So you can download this amazing virtual trading pen, the indicator I uh, used. Many of the indicators are available for free with the free version. You can download there this key trading levels indicator. This is a volume based profile indicator with an instant control here from all the multiple time frame. Absolutely amazing, very useful, and you will love these indicators. So download them below this video in the description, or you can simply go directly to my blog, vladimirbekov.com, strategies and courses, in-house indicators, choose the ones that you love, and download them and install them. I'm sure you will love them. So now let's go to the um, uh, charts. Gold uh, was one of the instruments we discussed um, on the last uh, weeks. If you missed this video, you can find it directly in the channel. What we were uh, observing on gold is that it's moving in a beautiful bearish channel, okay? And this channel is yet ongoing. We didn't see any reverse through. We didn't see uh, even after the attempt of making some double bottom here with a bullish divergence. You can see here flat supportive area with bullish divergence on the moving average. However, this high here never was broken. What we did see is a pullback to the top of the channel, right? And a bounce, you can see where from this volume. You see the daily volume? It says here on the indicator, directly from there. You would love this indicator, the key trading levels indicator based on the volume profile. So from my point of view, the gold is still bearish with its failure of switching and flipping the trend that create a bullish trending structure, create a bullish price uh, action structure. And I believe we still should see that trying to go for one final low to complete here a dive down uh, and some uh, divergence uh, with, to complete like one more low on the chart and higher low on the uh, indicators. The moving average of the MACD would be uh, ideal. Uh, and uh, if you take a look on the lower time frame, and the price uh, structure also fits in perfectly. We do have the three lower highs, lower lows. Uh, which uh, corresponds beautiful to the expectations. We have the pullback. So I believe one more final low should be uh, created on this one. Uh, let me know what do you think about the gold? Where would you expect it to go? I would not be surprised if we try to go and reach this key supportive area we have here slowly, 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 uh, very likely on this drop, maybe after one more rally. Uh, and then a drop. This could be a classical uh, target zone for the for the gold for a longer run. Let me know how do you see the gold in the comment section uh, below this uh, video. Share with us your view. And also, I would like to ask your um, your help. And if you find this video helpful and other videos I upload for you in this channel, please show your support back. Hit this like button below the video. Uh, your help is very much appreciated. Few words in the comment section would be an amazing help as well. This is how YouTube algorithm works. So any help of uh, you and any support of you from you um, would be very much appreciated. And thank you very much in advance for all those of you who take the time 
and uh, and help. The next one would be the New Zealand dollar, which also I find very interesting uh, for a short term and for the longer term. So on a short term, look what happens here. We take the low, we take the close. This creates for us a beautiful demand zone, the previous supportive area from early 2020. What happens is we go all the way. Look at this amazing downtrend structure, right? Move down, massive move down. Another lower high, classical structure of lower highs, lower lows. This is without any doubt a bearish trend ongoing with this uh, instrument. And it does not seem to be over. What does seem to happen here is that rallies should be sold for the long term. And if we take a look what happens here, we have this massive resistance. It was support, becomes a resistance. And the, uh, of the last uptrend, the area of supply is right here. So this is a key area, which if we get towards to, right, we get very close to there, could be an amazing sell opportunity for a longer run. And this is what I really am looking at. On a shorter term, I do believe there is a good chance we will try after some pullback, we will try to reach this area. There is a massive volume. Look at the volumes here. So that's a level we saw on the weekly time frame based on the support and the resistance analysis and the supply zone analysis. And this area is a massive volume here on a daily, uh, on a weekly chart. Okay, And look at all this zone here, this histogram, see that? This cloud of volume, all that is a massive volume also based on the daily. So I believe after some pullback, we might see the New Zealand dollar trying to take us closer to this area and move all the way down, or at least on some point, create some sort of a consolidation as a range here before it will really take the momentum and create a final low until the weekly divergence will uh, would complete. So this is what uh, I uh, personally see on uh, these two instruments. Uh, let me know what do you think about the New Zealand dollar as well. Uh, feel free to share your views and your comments below this video in the comment section. So thank you very much for your time watching this video. I wish you and yours all the best and uh, wishing you once again a very successful um, trading months ahead and I would like also to welcome you to our trading family traders academy club where you can enjoy from all these very uh, things you can see on this image full access to the VIP price action course full access to all our real-time trading ideas and real-time trading education and endless community support uh, so join us with the link below this video in the description once again all the best to you and yours and successful trading months ahead bye for now and see you soon with more